Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Super excited today because we got some great news. We are finally getting the new class in Battle Royale, the Airborne. So smash the like guys if you're excited for this video. And once again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. Now let's start. Now if you don't know already guys, we are getting two new class or two new operator skills in Battle Royale in Con Mobile. Trickster and Airborne. So apparently the first one we're going to get is Airborne. And it's coming this week. A few days ago, COD Mobile posted on Reddit the community update for November with all the incoming events for the next few days. So let's take a quick look and then we'll go in depth on the Airborne class. Now first of all, Halloween event is not over. The double XP weekend we have is supposed to end tonight. Also the Rockets only mode about to end on November 7th so we still have a few more days. Then starting tomorrow we have a weekly Battle Royale challenge November 4th to November 10th. And you know guys I like Battle Royale so looking forward to play Battle Royale on stream. So guessing we'll have a few challenges to do with some rewards uh, like get X amount of kills, uh, use your chip skill a number of times, upgrade your chip skill and stuff like that. But also the most exciting event is starting tomorrow is the Airborne class event. It's gonna last for seven days and guys, it's gonna be exactly like the Sparrow event. You will have 10 tasks to complete and at the end when you reach the tent, you will unlock the Airborne class. So if you guys don't remember, the Sparrow event was exactly like that. And also you could not do all 10 challenges on the same day because the last one was uh, five days logging into the game and everyone would unlock the, the Sparrow on the Friday. So I don't know if they decided to do that because we don't have the full list but apparently you have to kill five enemies uh, in Battle Royale, kill ten in Battle Royale. Then you have to use your chip skill once and twice uh, but then I don't have the rest but shout out to Murder Blast on Twitter for uh, revealing some of these. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, guys. These challenges, usually they're not very hard, but you just have to play the game five days total during the week. Now, just a reminder, guys, some players missed the Sparrow. They didn't complete the task in time and they don't have the Sparrow. So hopefully it's going to come back later because it's kind of sucked for these guys. Uh, the Sparrow is so powerful and I'm expecting Airborne to be super fun. Now, let's look into it, guys. What exactly is Airborne? So airborne is the seventh skill right now in battle royale and you see it's an ejection device it summons a catapult and ejects your team into the air and turns on the wing to glide so the wingsuit uh you know when you're in the air if you drop from a mountain depending on your timing it's gonna deploy your wingsuit and it's got great mobility now here you see four seats around the device so more than one player, your teammates can join you and take one of the seats and eject into the air. And once you're in the air, you can deploy the wingsuit and go wherever you want. Now, if you are the guy using the airborne class, you have an extra perk, which is lightweight. So you'll have a better mobility while using the wingsuit. Now, I'm really excited for that one. I think it's really going to change the game or the way we play the game, uh, especially in one player battle royales. Uh, on four man squads, I guess it's gonna be cool to have it in the squad also depending on how you play But it's great to it's great for repositioning uh, Whenever the circles are changing and you're in a bad spot uh, Instead of relying on the chopper all the time to get uphill Well, this is gonna give you a great great way to reposition I also like the fact that the whole team can use it It's really cool because some skills are more individual but this one is for the whole team and yeah super excited for that one guys now the last one coming later is gonna be trickster uh looks like it's gonna be summoning holograms of you so it's gonna be maybe a good way to to dodge some bullets when you try to reposition also if you're being attacked by snipers and you summon holograms well they won't know where to shoot right so really excited for tomorrow guys cannot wait to start doing these challenges and finally unlock the airborne now a bit more about the community update before i leave you with some gameplay is uh, about the bots in cod mobile so many comments i get about bots the game is full of bots we know and they know and it was made like that for two reasons first of all uh it's supposed to give the the new players 
an easy field to learn the ropes of the game to start to like learn the maps get better with the controls get to know the game a little better before they jump into the real action versus full squads of real players because if you're new to the game and you get versus five players that have been playing for two months you're gonna get destroyed and i'm pretty sure it's not gonna be a lot of fun so if you start versus bots you have an easier time and you get to learn the game and it's gonna be more enjoyable but they say as you rank up they want you to see less and less bots and it's gonna be more challenging as you rank up but they don't have the intention to remove completely remove the bots in the game the other reason i talk often on stream is probably because they don't want you to wait 15 minutes before you start a game they want you to like when you queue in a game they want you to get into the action right away not waiting 15 minutes so if they put bots in the game you're gonna start much faster and there's so many game modes in card mobile it's not like in pubg where there's only battle royale and everyone's queuing for the same game mode because in card mobile there's so many multiplayer modes also domination and team death match and hard point and stuff so the player pool is queuing on many different game modes at once Plus, there's the guys on Battle Royale. You have solo, you have duos, you have four-man squads. You also have different lobbies for first-person perspective and third-person. So because of that, it's going to be tough to get 100 players in a game super quick. Because players are everywhere, right? Now, next point is the cheater reports. As you guys know, they want to make the environment better for everyone. They want to remove cheaters and hackers. So they implement a new and I cheat uh, they also want the players to report the cheaters, but also they say, don't worry, we won't start banning players based on only one report. Because sometimes people are quick to call people hackers. Like when you get killed and you think you died a bit fast, you say, oh, automatically, this guy is cheating, this guy's a hacker, I'll report him. But maybe he was not cheating, you know, maybe you were already damaged and you just died fast. So they cannot start banning everyone just because of reports. That would be crazy. So you need evidence, you need screenshots, videos, usernames, and maybe multiple reports on the same player. Uh, because it would be too easy to just make someone ban just because you don't like him, right? So I hope they're gonna do it right, but also I hope that the hackers won't just keep uh, doing what they do. Because it really ruins the game for everyone. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Once again, super excited for Airborne. The challenge will start tomorrow, and I cannot wait to try it finally. Been waiting for that for a while. So once again, hit the like if you're excited, and leave me a comment below what you're looking for in the near future. Cannot wait for zombies also, but no news for zombies, except it's not ready right now. But I expect zombies to come soon, probably for season two in about 20 days. So that's like three weeks. Really, really hyped for zombies, guys. That's going to be it for today. I will leave you guys with some gameplay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will be back soon. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. Take care.
alive in one minute. Airdrop has been delivered. Chip terminal is almost ready. The revived flight will arrive in one minute. The safe zone is collapsing. Last revive flight will arrive in one minute.
two teams left, getting close to victory. The safe zone is collapsing. <laughs> 